There's no time like the holidays in Chicago, from festive markets to all the twinkling lights and even performances. There's so much to do and so much to see. Lynn Osmond, president and CEO of Two Chicago, joins us now with some visit, some must visit holiday attractions. And I, I have always said, Chicago is the best place when it comes to the holidays. Everywhere you go, it seems that everything is lit up. And so we, and so you have the hard job of trying to convey to everyone just a few things to check out. Absolutely, but there is so much to do. And so one of my favorite things right now is the Kris Kringle markets. Oh, I yes. mean, yes. they are so incredible. And we've got three Kris Kringle markets mm -hmm. this year, actually. So we've got the downtown and Daily Plaza, which is beautiful and traditional. Mm -hmm. But then we've also got the one that's up at Wrigley. Yes. And what's really cool about that is you can spend another $5 and you can go into the field and go to the Winter Wonderland. And so there's skating there Ooh. and there's all sorts of amusements. You can go touch the ivy. Shh, don't sound like that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's also one in Aurora. So these are just such a great tradition. And this is a great opportunity for someone who's never been to Wrigley to actually get mm, inside yes. and what it's exactly. all about. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So you get to see, you know, the baseball stadium and also celebrate the holidays. I mm. just did this. I went to the Wrigley Chris Kendall Market. It was awesome. And they have little, they have slides you can go down with the girls. Oh. And then, of course, oh, yeah. I have yeah, to go because yeah. I have to get the uh, souvenir mug. Okay. Um, well, with and mold. that is mulled wine in there. So yes. that's <laughs> Not, you know, no, that's not friendly, but I'm just saying, I go for the sausages and the mulled wine. And then, yeah. Okay. And another event that everybody loves every year is the zoo lights. Oh, and we have so many lights around the city. So zoo lights is just absolutely gorgeous. But then you've got Navy Pier has a celebration of lights festival. Then, of course, you have the Botanic Gardens. You've got Morton Arboretum. So just so much. Um, and the zoo lights are just so pretty. And, I mean, you yeah. can go in. You can even just drive down Stockton. Yeah. And mm -hmm. you can get a whole feeling of what they're about. And the one thing about the zoo lights, I, we experienced that year when it was really warm and everybody converged <laughs> on the zoo. This year, or actually in the last couple of years, you guys have come to a system where you now need to get tickets. Yeah, because otherwise it's too crazy. So you, it is a ticketed event, um, but there are tickets available. But just make sure you do that before you show up. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. Because we don't want to have that happen. I to love us. all of these. These are like mm -hmm. traditions that you do yearly, and it doesn't feel like the holidays until you do them. Now you're. We're also talking about Avondale, which is a really hot neighborhood. I know, Avondale, Lozen Square, there's so many I interesting neighborhoods in our city. But one of the other things at the holidays is to get out and explore. Mm -hmm. You know, so Avondale is a great neighborhood to go and explore some of the newer businesses that mm -hmm. are happening there. But then you've got Lincoln Square with some of its German traditions. And you can also go down and explore Little Village, which is actually the third, uh, the second largest retail area in mm -hmm. the city of Chicago. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then you can go eat in Hyde Park or, you know, some of the other neighborhoods and really try some of the holiday traditions there. And the other thing too, a lot of people get to take in some traditional performances that happen around the holidays. There are many of those going on. Talk about just a few of them. Well, you know, we've got the Nutcracker mm -hmm. by the Joffrey Ballet. Mm -hmm. That's a civic opera. And then, of course, we've got a Christmas Carol at the Goodman. I just went to it last week. It is so, <laughs> so <good>. wonderful. <laughs> and I've seen it a million times, but I love it every single time. Mm -hmm. That's fabulous. And, and of mm -hmm. course, we have some of the best museums uh, in, not in in the country but probably in the world I'd say. Oh we do absolutely and you know one of the traditions that I always love are the Christmas trees from around the world mm -hmm. in the Museum of Science and mm -hmm. Industry and it's great to see you know my home country of Canada has a tree but then you've got the Ukraine Christmas tree you've got the Russian Christmas tree sorry I shouldn't have said those two in the same sentence but, uh, yeah. but they really um, the trees are all so beautiful and that's just a great way to see them and then you've got you know wonderful things happening at the other museums like Chicago Chicago Architecture Center has snow globes. Um, so just everybody celebrating the holidays. Mm -hmm. Talk about uh, True Chicago. I mean, you guys have this awesome job of having to promote the city. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sometimes you would think it would speak for itself, but you guys do get out there and sell it to the rest of the world. You know, it is so wonderful to be in the position that I'm in and talking about Chicago. And, you know, at our peak, we had six over 60 million visitors come. And this year, we'll probably end up with about 50 million people coming to our city but we get to uh, not only sell to leisure travelers but to business and then can 
conventions, and mm -hmm. I'm so proud to say the convention business is really coming back. We've oh, had good. a very successful year. In fact, the manufacturing convention was almost uh, 85,000 people. That's mm -hmm. huge, just like moving in a small city. Mm -hmm. So we're all about promoting it to the world. And, you know, our slogan is, once you go, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and because that's exactly it. Like, how many times you've had people come here for the first time? They said, mm -hmm. I had no idea. Yeah. Right. And so it's really to get people to come for the first time and then to come on back. Yeah. I was going to ask you what your one-liner was, but there it was right there. <laughs> <laughs> when you go, you know. Absolutely. Thank you so much for being with us. We really appreciate it. All right, the website is shoechicago.com. All the information is there for everything we talked mm -hmm. about today, how you can visit, and all the information that they need to, to, to be able to get tickets and everything. So, Lynn, thank you so much. Thank you.